Talk to me, Goose. Guys, I'm going to tell you something absolutely crazy here. Uh, it is my belief that Luna Classic is about to go through something. And it's going to be something that, in my opinion, is game-changing. And you guys maybe haven't heard it here first. Actually, you probably did, but you didn't hear it the way that I'm going to describe it to you today. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button on the way in. And make sure you share this with everybody that you know because it helps me. And the more people who see what's about to happen right here, the more investors will probably come into it. So let's kick this off. I'm going to get you uh, a little bit of the bet. First, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the that's going on in the Luna Classic universe. And here's the funny thing: the funny thing is, even though it's a quote unquote bad thing, it's not bad because it turns out uh, nobody nobody uses these guys anyway. So weird stuff. Um, if you haven't already, consider signing up at Terraport.finance, using them for your trading, and sign up at Terra Casino today. Now let's kick it off. Okay, Gemini Crypto Exchange to delist Terra Luna Classic. Now, on the surface, you don't want to see a delisting from anybody because uh, Gemini, the, the crypto twins, the, the Winklevoss, the Donald Trump is awesome guys, um, th those guys, they are, <coughs> according to crypto, big names, right? So, you know, we shouldn't lose any big names. So it's not optimal to, to see that Genesis is, is delisting. Uh, and in fact, they're delisting Synthetics, Terra Luna Classic, Credo, and Zebek. And I thought to myself, hey, self, you're really handsome. And then I thought, why are you talking to me like that? You're a dude, dude. Come on, chill out. And then I realized, oh yeah, I was talking to myself. Inner monologue. It happens every once in a while. But let's look at the volume over here. So the number one volume is 8.5 million down and 2.2 million on Binance Turkey, and then 2 million on Grove X, then uh, 1.3 million on Orange X, and then hey, wait a minute, where's Genesis? Genesis got to be trading a ton, right? There's like 20 million trade volume here. Uh, let's go to page two. Obviously, just a smaller amount. In Bitvavo, Deepcoin, Bitcub, Gate.io. Buy bit, bit but wait, what Genesis? Gen looking for Gen we're just looking for Genesis, right? Coin W. We're on page three right now. Uh, but and this is and this nine is all right. Through the top thirty and Genesis. Top 30. Why are they not in the top 30? That seems kind of weird. Top 40 for sure. Tokenized Bitru. Bit, Bitru. Oh, Bitru. More people. Bitru is more popular. Than, okay. All right. All right. You just do you. Um, and there's 40. And now is 50. Oh, 50. Here we go. Number 46 at 14,000. Ooh. Well, butter my biscuit. Uh, Genesis is killing the game. Listen, the fact that Genesis is delisting uh, Terra Luna Classic is because nobody cares about the Genesis Exchange and nobody's trading on it. Uh, it's not built for, really, it's not built for us. It really is just built for the the, the F-boy army, if you will, and there's only a few of them left. Uh, the, the rest of those people already got wrecked by buying tops and selling bottoms. So I, I don't think that Gemini is going to move the needle. It is important. It is important to have, you know, a, a, your, you want your crypto to be listed on wherever you want it to be listed. Um, it, it's important to have that ability, but in reality, it is not that hard at all. Let me just, let me point it out. This is so easy. Uh, crypto, the crypto.com who doesn't even list Luna Classic has more volume than Genesis. So, <laughs> oh, Genesis, oh, Genesis. Oh, Genesis. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, so let's go here, and we talk about trade volume, and then we come down here, and we're just looking for Genesis. We're just looking for Genesis. Uh, Gemini, uh, Gem, Gem, here we go. Top 20, I mean, that's, you're okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean, right, right? Uh, but look at trade volume, okay? This is because it's trusted and because coin market cap. This is owned by Binance, and Binance will suck up to anybody with a lot of money because... It's what they do, right? And look, you guys, if you're a fan of you're a fan of Binance, I didn't mean any of that. If you're not a fan of Binance, I meant every bit of it. But I, who cares, right? So let's go to trade volume. Let's let's look at honest trade volume. Uh, we assume that Bika here is not being honest. You can see right here, reserve data unavailable. Uh, coin up. We see the same thing. Uh, you know, they're just they might be lying about their trade volume. There's no way there's 19 billion dollars being traded in a place that nobody's ever heard of. So you know what I mean? Like, eh. It, so we'll look at Binance. But let's go down this list and where is it 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 it's not even on the first page okay uh, it is it's absolute insanity um it, there's no trade volume over there okay like i don't even know how the I, I i like you're all the way down here when it comes to trade volume 
Nobody cares about Gemini, okay? Um, so I, I wouldn't put too much faith into that, but I'm probably saying too much. I'm spending too much time talking about a couple of weird looking autistic twins, okay? Uh, let's, let's move on. All right, so on Commonwealth, we've got a couple of discussions that are ongoing over here. Um, in, incentive for bare metal validators proposed. And God, I'm going to ask you just go look through this and you know decide for yourself what you want to do. Nothing's come up for a vote except one thing, which we're going to go to in just a second here, and it's 12122, which is actually important. I'll, I'll show you the 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 verbiage of it, and uh, we can look at the votes uh, as we want. So uh, nothing really uh, other than that repeg uh, bounty system, 1 million USTC. There's some discussion right now about turning it into 5 million. I haven't seen that yet. I, I see people saying it and I see people talking about it and I see people with no forward sight. There's a very good, by the way, uh, Ready Player One came out with a pretty long and detailed white paper. I haven't read the entirety of it. It looked good on the surface, uh, but I, I really haven't got into the nitpicking portions of it because it's not up for a vote yet. And, you know, we spent a lot of time wondering, like, this is a good proposal. So we'll see whether or not this comes up. And But it is thought out. It's well thought out uh, as far as I can. Again, this is a cursory glance that I've gone through right now. So he's obviously been putting some effort into this. Um, uh, and then even Bull Boss comes over here, a well thought out and detailed. Uh, but with this solution, UST is backed by USDC. That means you lose the decentralized nature of USTC. Um, no, it doesn't. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that at all. Um, although I understand where you come from with USDC, because eventually this thing has to evolve. So you're going to use USDC because it's a, look, it's owned by Coinbase. So I understand the concern, but you're going to share it out with Bitcoin, which is not the best thing to back something that you need to be stable with, although Bitcoin is going up. Look, it, it's complicated, right? Complicated shit happening. So, um, but let, let me keep going here. There's another little plan that's been thrown out here. Uh, but as you go down here, uh, if I write a white paper, et cetera, et cetera, and you know, did all this, and then this guy says, I think the community could offer 250,000 or 1.7 uh, million USTC. And, and NB Crypto says something that's very, very, very important right here, okay? Because these guys are talking about some silly stuff right here. They're talking about, basically, to me, it sounds like they're talking about, well, what if I'm scamming some people, right? And, and this right here should be, uh, this is incredibly valid right here. It says, if you believe in your work, 1 million is a good offer, in my opinion, but of course the community decides that. Uh, they, they were putting in what I would choice for 5 million. So they're, they're you know talking about some different stuff here. However, here's the thing. As you go down here, you will see that 1 million USTC will be 1 million USDC at a $1 peg. So if these people don't believe in everything, they're just looking for a different way to grift, then yeah, it's a problem. But this guy's saying, look, if I give you 1 million USTC and you're right, it's going to be $1 million. So I'm going to pay you a $1 million uh, to do this the right way. And these guys are waffling. How do you waffle on that, by the way? That seemed a little bit weird. So I said a lot there. I know I did. I know I'm talking to you, but you're my friend, right? We're friends, right? We're buddies. Okay, so uh, let's get let's let's move on for a little bit. Uh, we're going to look at the the chart now, and you know I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go over here and let's talk about the proposal. So far, uh, you've got no with veto, eighty four percent. It's a significant amount right now, uh, saying that this this spend proposal uh, is up for governance and it's not going to go through. Here is the spend proposal, and this is uh, twelve one twenty two, and this is for uh, payment of the, um, um, the the Genuine Labs work for tax to gas. Since the approval of Proposal 12120, uh, Genuine Labs invitation of tax to gas is regarded as complete. PR500 been merged into the Terra Classic Core Repository. On behalf of Genuine Labs, I've submitted the proposal for the work we have undertaken over the past six weeks. We've maintained transparency throughout. Cryptonomy is giving away from $100 to $10,000 to participate, all you have to do is follow the three Telegram groups, follow Cryptonomy on X, and make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months to join the launch pool by August 20. So if you're interested, make sure you sign up today. Also, I'm making another move here. You guys know I've been a fan of API 3. Well, the granddaddy of API 3 should be considered to be Link. So I brought in 582 Link. I'm going to stake that right now for six months at a 29.6% yield. That's going to give me a pretty good increase. So I'm confirming. I got my Link right now. I'm going to get about a 30% 
off of that. And now the granddaddy of all, this is the launch pool. The launch pool is where it all happens. I'm gonna use 0.4 Bitcoin in the bronze package. That's up to 5X returns. And we're gonna hit the continue right here. And we got a whole new contract. Guys, try Cryptonomy.ins today. That's how you earn yield. Got the works by providing bi-weekly reports on our progress. And these are the detailed reports you can find over here, either on Medium or on Commonwealth. And we provided all our test cases. Uh, the cost of these works is 25,000 to be paid in lunk from the community pool at the current exchange rate of 324 million lunk. Uh, market price of lunk at the time of this proposal is 4077. So uh, that's the proposal, very simple proposal, but as you can see right now, not getting off the ground at all. 83% rejection at this point. Now, that's 32 billion tokens. So um, should would we see maybe a reversal on this at some point? Well, uh, remember, Lunk Rush does not have it all the way updated. They just got the first couple of votes that have gone up. It'll take uh, probably another 15, 16 minutes from where I am to get everything updated. So um, we don't. I don't have. Uh, I don't. I don't see how this is uh, at this point uh, going to pass. But there's only been a small, small, small amount of votes. That have happened right now so as we see the next couple of hours sort of develop here and you know get to the nitty-gritty details then maybe we'll see this thing just kind of reverse really big it seems like a bunch of people stepping up right now just to cry about it so I, you know I, I don't know however now let's get into price action. Okay, so US market's on the clock right now and they're sucking liquidity like it's made out of D, you know what I mean? Uh, because USA, 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 what, I mean, I don't know how they talk. Uh, I, I know I'm an American, but that doesn't matter, right? Uh, for the purpose of this, suspend animation. Well, listen, we went up for a while. I'm gonna do this and refresh this. We went up for a while to 82. For, for just a little while ago. Uh, and you saw this little sell down, but what you're seeing right now in the hourly is a general flow towards the upside. Uh, we've curved out a little bit right here and you see that you know we've kind of gotten into a, a fairly decent position. Uh, looked like we were having a nice little spike, a nice little rip, a nice little continuation of this upward momentum. Now, we haven't broken structure on that. And what do I mean by structure? Uh, it looks like we've been pretty up for this period of time. And then from down here, if you just kind of grant here that you know this is kind of touching all the spots right there, you're having this sort of move down here, testing this. If this in fact is the bottom, then I would expect uh, in the next couple of hours, we're gonna get a spike up in the 84, 85 range, which it's not recovery by any means. But if we look at volume, then the next big volume note is located right here at 85. Right, so you see how it's crossing over right there? So in the next couple hours, I would suspect we'll probably have a move to 85. There's no guarantee of that. The US market is on the clock and US market has been garbage for days now. The, the, the rest of the world putting money into crypto, the American market sucking it out. Like again, it's made out of D. So, um, yeah, so we're down a little bit, but I think this is gonna be a continuation move and we've got more upside momentum. Now back to the daily, on the daily, we're still up on the day, but we're in that consolidation phase. Again, I think that makes a, a big breakout. Now, let me talk about this breakout because this is important, okay? Let's talk Elliott Wave. Let's kind of zoom out here. Um, you know, you, you, you've seen all of this stuff happening for, for the last little while. But let's put this in, in terms of Elliott Wave. So on the Elliott Wave theory right here, um, this is DeFi World coming up with this, by the way, not me. But Elliott Wave gives you this move. It gives you the ABCs. Then it gives you the one, two, three, four, five move. And then here we go. This is where we are right now, okay? So what we could be seeing play out is this exponential sort of move into two zeros, three as an um, impulse range towards the end of this year. And then uh, this big move back down and then a nice big move back up coming into, guys, remember I told you six months, seven months, eight months, maybe even a year ago, my prediction for Terra Luna Classic and what I say, I said 0.028 was going to be the number going into this bull run where I think that Terra Luna Classic lands, okay? What does this guy come up with uh, when he's looking at the same philosophy here? 0.3 or 0.03. So um, Twinsies, uh, he agrees, and this is a third person, by the way, if you, if you remember, 
Uh, this is the third person validating uh, my estimation that we're going to 0.028. He's saying 0.03. I think he's, I don't think that's exactly right. Again, we're splitting hairs by where we put this stuff. So, uh, it, it validating at three cents seems to be the 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 good spot. So, uh, guys, you got the you got the theory playing out in front of you, and now we're witnessing like this big move right here, uh, followed by this correction down here. Like if you see this move, and you see a a gigantic 10x move from where we are right now, It'd be about 15x, let's say. But if you get a big 15x move from here uh, at this point, and it would be massive, but it looks like it might be coming. If we get that, then don't forget that you're going to have this dip back down here, and then you're going to have a bunch of crybabies who are going to FOMO right around here because it's going to a penny or something like that, okay? Uh, and they're going to get liquidated, and they're going to get wrecked right here. But you, the genius in the crowd, because you're watching me, you're the one that's going to be picking up right here, then you're the one that's going to be buying a little bit more, and then you're going to be waiting for that dip because you know it's coming, right? And you're going to be accumulating a little bit more right here for the big impulse move, right? And then your life is forever changed because you paid attention in class. Cool. All right. So uh, the amount of burns, 179 million. Burns have been picking up. You know why they've been picking up? Terra Casino. Terra Casino for all your gaming needs. You got roulette, you got poker, you got whatever games you want to play, and you can use Luna Classic Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, Matic, uh, Link. You can use Link. Who loses Link? A lot of people, by the way. USDC, USDT, Dogecoin. You got plenty of stuff to do here. Sports wagering, NFL football is coming, college football. And not that, not that football, not that football across the world. You know the football where they use feet? The football in America where you use hands. Jesus Christ, it's called football for a reason because you use your hands. I mean, there's a little kicking. There's a, there's, a, there's a little bit of kicking, you know, sometimes three, sometimes one point, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, check out Terra Casino today. Also, make sure that you're trading, and when you're trading, you do it on Terraport because that helps tremendously. Again, that's a sponsor of the channel. You guys help out with that, and guess what? This thing explodes and blows up, and our earnings so far, again, we only have 5,000 Terra that we put into this pool. I bought some more, by the way, the other day, but only have 5,000 sitting in here staked, but we've already earned 50 as a reward. So, in the event we somehow get Terra to a dollar during this whole thing, then guess what? I just made 50 bucks. I mean, maybe. You never know. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, look, this, this repeg thing is going to take on a life of its own pretty soon, so uh, get ready because things are going to get very, very interesting in the Luna Classic community. Retail's coming back. They're going to find this. It's going to get wild. That's not financial advice, but I'm always right.